Okay, there. So now that we do the geometry, we have everything. Let's move into into open font and you should have this folder you now entry mixing elbow and here you have these three uh, versions of the of the same case we're going to start with b3 is the one very clean and then b1 b2 there are some variations some modifications that later we're going to visit for or our purposes this will be perfect mesh following all the standard practices that we have seen uh, up to now so let's go into b3 okay and I want to show you something now that we have here the geometry and in this case cons, constant geometry and see that we have the OBJ. This is the one I use and I prepare with mesh mixers and I, I only want to show you, you know, what, what do I have there in this case. Okay, so if I enter there, constant geometry. Okay, and now groups, and you see all my groups. And look at additionally, I just paint on the surface and extracted another group there. I put it there and I save it. So as you see, you can do, it's very flexible now. You can select many faces and so on. Uh, by the way, this triangulation that you have here, STL, it can be also re-triangulated to have something more flexible. Now doing this selection here, it's not possible, obviously, because you have these elongated uh, triangles, but you can also re-triangulate that. Again, I don't want to go into details, but a lot of stuff now you can do with this mesh mixer, very, very flexible. So if I open this file also, look at that, I already went through I don't have the, the fillet here, by the way, and I change the name. So I'll look at that. I call it, I look at in part of you and then I change my name conventions. And those are the regions that I'm going to access in a snappy X mesh. This is just to look at this geometry. Let's go to V1. Okay. In V1. And I want to show you a few scenes. It's still were here in pre-processing now. So here in geometries, I already put everything. Okay. So this one here, pipe, a small pipe, large outlet. Okay. Inlet the single surface that I exported from on shape. Okay. If I go here are these single sort surfaces. So let me show you. Okay. So you have this all assembled by the way, you will have sometimes no, okay. Let me, they break me first and break me cases and so on. So you, so you get lost, you will see what we have here. So, okay. Some comments here, what we have and so on. Um, let me go here. Okay. So let me open again. Okay. Let me load OF 12. Let me open part of you. So basically, the single surfaces that you have here, I have this, 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 and this. Let me select all of them, apply. Okay, basically what I'm going to do now is to assemble these surfaces in a single one. Okay, I'm going to do it in the STL file, which is easier. You can do it also in the OBJ, but you need to write a small program to get the data structure. In STL, it's much, much easier, okay? So look at that. You have all those surfaces now, but as you save it individually. The problem with this, working like this, is better to explore a single solid, okay? And let me show you what is the problem. Okay, to mention that this is stuff also when you, this problem that we're going to see can be fixed also in Mesh Mixer. Now that is a specific function to do a re-triangulation of this surface. So look at that, we have this one. If I put here, it says, let me pipe large. The surface triangulation. And as you zoom in, look at that the triangulation is not perfectly matching, okay? So even though this surface will be uh, a closed surface and so on, as that is not matching, it might give you some problems in some situations. So if I look here, probably this patch, it seems that it's matching, okay? And look at that, yeah, kind of, this is, these are matching, but not. it's not always the case. But in this one, 
the triangulation is not matching. Okay. So this is something that we're going to see later. Okay. That it will give you small, it's not something that you should be worried, but have that in mind that if you can explore the surface as single one, that that triangulation can be single matching. It is a better standard practice, but however, as I say, for me, it's not a problem. I do it very often. I know very well what is happening. Okay, so in let to here, let me. So what I want to show you here is another very important step. Normals. Normals are extremely important. And you have seen you now that how you know, the, the curvature and intersections are computed. And also when you use regions of refinement, the option that we use inside, outside, normals are used for that, but also this closed surface also will have a, 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 an influence how you do that, that in feeling or out feeling. Okay, so what I wanted to show you here is how we can visualize normal. So go here, always in part of you, and you have one option is normal glyph. Okay, put it there. And there you go, you have your normals. So let's change dimensions here. And these are my normals in that specific body. So in this case, see that all my normals are pointing outward. So that's not a problem, that is okay. Pipe large, let's do the same. Okay, normals. And take a while I have many triangles always see there so that may reduce here to 0 0.2 Check color. and let me here okay so these are my normals and again these are pointing outward so no problem but now let me check the normals of this one outlet patch. So this is a check. So every single uh, uh, cat tool or solid model tool, when you export a single solid, it will export all your normals consistent in a way. But when you use this technique that you export different surfaces and so on, it might not be the case. And probably some surfaces we have different normals, or maybe you're going to have faces with two normals in each size, double sized face. That that used to be the case in non shape, but then they change it. And now in non shape, you spot a surface and it is one side sided surface and the normals are just pointing in one direction. You never know which one is, is the direction. So let me put here another okay, normal glyph. And now here I can clearly see that these normals are pointing inwards. Let me hide this one by large. And there you go. They're pointing normal inwards. And as we have seen, these these normals are used to, to compute many things in open phone or in a snappy X mesh and all the intersections and so on. So a good standard practice is to have all your normals oriented in the same direction. Okay. So let me go here. That can be repaired, okay, in part of you. Okay, so in this case, I think also inlet one is point or inlet to one of these is pointing inward. So if you put it there, it's not like it's going to be a big problem, but have in mind that it's better, it's a standard practice. So I like to have my normals always pointing in the same direction, okay? If for any reason they're not pointing, I, I can do that. So there are, this is part of the process, pre process. I want to show you a few ways of how to uh, fix this normal. So let's work in this specific one, the owl, like no, because you can repeat it here. Okay, so we have the normals there. So how we can repair this one? So here we have an step. Now oh, let me hide this one. And I can go filters, alphabetic. And I have one filter which is called surface normal or normal surface. Let me see normal surface. I don't see it. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh, uh. No, it's generic surface normal, this one. 
generate surface normal apply okay and now in this one let me apply this normal please to that one okay to see let me connect it here this whole eyes so this one the normals are pointing there but in this filter i can choose okay to flip normals and now the normals are pointing in the other direction okay so now that i flick normals i know that this surface is, is okay i can save this surface so you go here let me see no right click sometimes now let me go and uh, if you save that data you can save it already as a obj or stl so let me save it as a stl here and uh, let me see let me call it mod okay so save that as ASCII and let's see if we have the right there the right the right normal so you see that we have our surface there and we can go filters and hopefully normal glyph I think I misunderstood okay there you go now the normals are pointing in the right direction okay so as you can see you can manipulate your geometry in part of you and you fix your those normals uh it's a very good standard practices it's not like your snappy x mesh is not going to work it might give you some small issues okay but in my personal experience most of the time it works but it is a good standard practice so always check check your normals okay so this is the pre-processing now in this case we were in b1 now we we have all the geometry okay and we look at this how to pre-process also just to mention still here we are in uh, let me get Edit. so you have these individual files stls so here at the beginning you have this keyword solid so give it a name that is the name the region at the end and at the beginning so as you see each of the file i change the name when you give a name there please don't use no numbers at the beginning it might give you a problem also don't use blank spaces just put everything singer no, don't use also funny ca characters okay so remember to change that name there so nothing to do there let me close here I can uh, close without saving close. okay so now how we can put everything together in a single file let me erase this one because we have these files but i want to put it in a single file to make make my life easier in a snappy so i don't need to read it read every single still okay you can read it but to put everything together it's relatively easy okay let me go geometries here so we can use some editing tool text editing tool as you see these are text files i can go cat which is a linux command no catenation and i will say inlet one inlet two then outlet then pipe small then pipe uh, large and redirect everything to let's call it single okay single task dot stl and there you go so basically what we did here is just redirect the output of cat into that single file and there we're just basically copying copying and pasting the the file so you can use a text editor what you will see that that is time consuming it's not very efficient and there you go so each color that you see corresponds to a different region we know the naming convention and off you go so as you go here filters by the way you can fix feature edges and you can start to extract edges here so you should have all your edges there let me go here and again in Paraform we can extract that we have seen that i will show you that again and this is it okay so basically some basic pre-processing okay that we have here so just coming back to these cases so this all assembled basically means that i assemble the whole surface using all these uh all this stl all single part i exported a single part from on shape and i have to uh then split this somehow to to add the name 
in the STL. Oh, no, no, this is not the STL. This is the OBJ. In the OBJ, I already have all the naming, all the naming convention because I did it with Max Mixer. But here I have, okay, well, the single text, the one that we did, we need to somehow, if you have, and actually, let me go in constant. Here's better. Here I, I have all everything now. So I have multi-surface. NS means multi-surface assemble. Okay, then I have a single surface. So in single surface, let me use this one to show you another trick, you know, how to extract those surfaces using some internal utilities from, from, uh, from uh, OpenFold. So this is it, this first part of post-processing. Let's revisit some new, uh, new steps and standard practices. So thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.